Hi, Ranbir. How are you? How's it going? I'm good. How are you? Very well. Very well. Well, should we start? Yeah. Awesome. Hey, everyone. My name is Oran Sahir, and I have the incredibly talented and, of course, the heartthrob of Indian cinema, Ranbir Kapoor, with me. Thank you so much for joining me, and welcome to Urban Asia. Thank you, Zoran. Thank you for having me. No pleasure is all mine, Ranbir. Thank you very much. Wishing you all the very best for your upcoming film, Main Juti to Makar. I mean, uh, to Juti Main Makar. Uh, <laughs> but no, incredible. I mean, it, it obviously is your first outing with Shraddha Kapoor. What is it like? Well, it's awesome. Uh, you know, she's a very fine actor. She's very hardworking. She's somebody I have known since the time she was born. And uh, I think it was a perfect film for us to collaborate. You know, it was uh, the tone of the film. You know, it's a hilarious rom-com. And she just gets that. You know, she gets it very easily. So as an actor, as a co-star, that kind of reflects on to you also. So she made my life really easy on this film. True. And I think, Rimbir, the last time you and I spoke, we obviously had uh, a huge venture of yours, like Brahmastra talking about that film that took years to make. But of course, it was an extraordinarily successful film, working with your wonderful, talented wife. Um, and you've obviously moved to a very different genre post uh, the making of Brahmastra, from a super power film to something which has astras to kind of getting back to reality. Was yeah. it hard kind of falling into a different character straight away after a film like that? You know, uh, Zoran, to be honest, I was really dying to do a film of this genre. You know, I'd done Sanju, then I'd done uh, Shamshera, then I did Brahmastra. They were all really heavy films, heavy characters. I really wanted to do something light. I really wanted to do something, you know, have some good songs, you know, have some good choreography and good music. Uh, and I think it just fell into the right... I was in the right time at the right place when... Actually, Love and Me were doing another film which had Love, uh, which had Mr. Ajay Devan and Me, which was a gangster drama. But some there were some date issues because Brahmastra got delayed. And in that interim, Love narrated this rom-com story to me. And it just clicked, you know, I just... It was just at the right time and I'm just so happy that it came my way. Well, I mean, Ranbir, your association with VRF has been on for quite so many years. I did Bachna, I've seen over them a very, very long time back, and of course, ever, ever since then. And I mean, this also worldwide release along with them is uh, to be spoken about. Of course, it's a Love Ranjan film, but uh, what is it like to, kind of working on a, if I may say so, the word a full blown masala film? Because this is a rom com. It is, a, it is, it is a, a love story, a love triangle, but of course, with uh, new aspects in the the millennial X. Um, how do you sort of see love stories in the Indian film industry, um, you know, kind of uh, nurturing itself over the years? Well, uh, you cannot, firstly, you cannot be influenced by the Western uh, style of filmmaking and storytelling. You have to have stories coming out of your own culture, your own characters, your own people, your own country. Um, and um, I think... Uh, I think the conflict of a love story is also... People have to find new conflicts. You know, we've sure. seen the same conflicts. You know, we've seen uh, a new wine in an old bottle and vice versa. But you have to make a film which is entertaining. And when you say masala film, I think every Hindi commercial film are multi-genre films. So you have a genre in a single film. You know, you have romance, you have comedy, you have action, you have emotion, you have songs and dances. Uh, and that's, that's a very hard genre of film to make. I can speak... Uh, I can give examples of my own film. When I do a film like, say, a Wake Up Sid or a, a Rocket Sing, uh, those are fairly easier films because they have one tone to it. You know, they have one genre, and you're following that. Um, they're beautiful films, but having said that, doing a film like Tu Jhuti Mein Makar is way harder because you have to sell all these different emotions and kind of package it into one entertaining film. You know, Ranbir, you mentioned about how uh, perhaps what the audience sees is a rather chilled out, relaxed film is 10 times harder than doing a perhaps a more complicated film. Uh, when you approach a character, and I have to say this, you're perhaps one of the only actors in the film industry that we have at, at this age in time that is perhaps a method actor and, and at the same time a commercial actor. And I think that's incredible, uh, all to your credit. Um, do you sort of bring a method to the madness in every film you do? Or is it sort of just you, you kind of go by the script, you go by what the story is all about? I think Zoran comes in, every film comes with its own new method, you know, like yeah. uh, my, my work in, say, a film like a biopic like Sanju, or yes. well, it's very different from Tu Chuti and Makar. 
And I think it yeah. kind of comes from the text, the script. It comes from the director. It comes from your imagination of how you see this character, how you see uh, uh, what are you trying to say through this film. Uh, so I think there is no fixed method. Uh, there are certain things that you will carry on as an actor because that's your skill set. Uh, but as I've grown older, as I've worked in more movies, I've also realized that being too skilled is a little scary because when you're too skilled, you start repeating uh, you know, what you already have in your bank of emotions and expressions. And uh, that can get very boring for an audience. You know, then you become repetitive, you become stylized, you start becoming um, uh, a kind of a replica of yourself. You know, like what audiences have probably seen me doing in other films. So the trick is to really find, you know, tap into something new, tap into something which is unexplored. Uh, not in a very intellectual way, but uh, I mean, intellectual is still easy, but really yeah. doing Thing, you know, something new is very hard. True, true, true. Well, Ranbir, I have to ask you this question. I know it's a bit unrelated to your um, current film, but of course, um, the coming back of a film like a Pathan, uh, which is obviously a Vaira film. And I think I, I say this question is because I know you personally are a big uh, fan of Shah Rukh Khan yourself, and you have vouched for the fact that Pathan has done very well in your recent kind of press releases and, of course, your press conferences and interviews. What does a huge, colossal success like Pathan mean to the overall Indian film industry? Because I know for a fact SRK is a household name and he needs no introduction. But, but but what does this mean? What does a thousand crore film like this mean to personally you and I think the film industry? It means success to all of us. I think Shah Rukh Khan's success makes yeah. all of us feel successful is because he's a man who's constantly entertained us, constantly inspired us for like what, 25 plus years. And yeah. it's not easy, man. It's not easy to constantly do that. I think if any actor deserves the success, it's purely him. Because I think he is... And I and I see this and I say this out of experience because I've worked with him and I've seen him work. There is constant hard work. There is constant giving. There is constant uh, uh, trying to uh, you know please, uh, trying to uh, you know give yourself, give love. And I think the audience sees it, and the audience is really respect uh, artists who really give. And I think sure. Shah right up there you know he's been giving since so many years that if somebody deserves the success it is purely him true and i think very well said and i think the other person who does that it's you so so more success and more uh power to you all the very best for the film wish you all the best can't wait to watch it very very soon good luck and god bless thank you thank you thanks Ranbir. pleasure talking to you cheers take care